So in today's video, I'm going to share with you an incredible freemium open source download manager for both Windows and Linux operating systems. This download manager can grab media file download links from any website, just like IDM. In fact, this download manager offers almost all the features of IDM, along with some extra ones. But wait, is this really a better option than IDM? That's what we're going to find out in this video. We'll also do a speed test between this tool and IDM. Plus, I'll give you a detailed pros and cons comparison between these two download managers. So, let's get started. First, visit the official website. Don't visit any random or sketchy sites. As always, the link is in the description box below. The tool we're going to talk about is called File Centipede. Okay, once you're on the official website, you can read a brief description of this download manager. If you want to see the source code for this app, scroll down and you'll find a GitHub project link. That link will take you directly to the GitHub page. Now to download the tool, click on the download menu on the home page. You'll find several download options for Windows and Linux. Select the appropriate link based on your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows installer file. If you're using Linux, download the Linux package. Once downloaded, locate the Zip file on your system, extract it, and then run the .exe file to install the tool. It will take just a few seconds to install. After installation, you'll see this kind of interface when the app launches for the first time. Let me resize the window so you can clearly see the interface. Now let's explore the app's interface and the available options. In the drop-down menu, you'll find several useful options like Add New Download, Force Stop, Torrent and Magnet related options, Proxy Settings, Host Settings, and more. If you explore the settings, you'll find more advanced options. You can also use this tool as a web DAV, FTP, or SSH client. Now, we're going to use the subscription key to unlock the premium version of this app for free. So visit the official website again, and you'll find a link to the page where the subscription key is provided. Check today's date, and copy the subscription key that matches it. Next, if you check the About section in the application, you'll see something like this. Now, let's install the browser extension for this download manager so it can capture media download links from websites. Visit the official website again, and you'll see that it offers browser extensions for major browsers like Firefox, Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. For this video, I'm using the Chrome browser, so I'll download the Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. If you're using Brave, Opera, or any Chromium-based browser, you should install the Chrome extension as well. Now let's test whether this download manager can capture links from websites like IDM does. For this demo, I'm using Pixabay.com, which offers copyright-free media for creators.
As you can see, once I visit the site, it starts capturing live media links from Pixabay. Just click the download pop-up above the media and the file will start downloading. Now let's test this tool by downloading the Windows 11 ISO file and checking how long it takes. I'll visit the official Microsoft website and download the ISO from there. For this test, I won't fast forward or slow down the video, so you can fairly compare how long it takes to download this 5.4 gigabyte file. So File Centipede took around 52 seconds to complete the download. Not bad. Now let's try downloading the same 5.4 gigabyte file using Internet Download Manager and see the difference. Okay, I've installed IDM on my system. Now I'll simply copy the download link of Windows 11 ISO and start downloading with IDM. As you can see, IDM took around 59 seconds to finish the download, so both are solid choices. Next, let's compare these download managers side by side and see which one is more optimized when used together.
Finally, the results are in front of you. Here's my opinion. While IDM is paid, it's more optimized when it comes to downloading speed and stability compared to File Centipede. As for File Centipede, it's also good, but I'm not a fan of the weekly free subscription. It's a bit of a hassle. I would request the developer to make the free subscription at least monthly. And here are the pros and cons of both File Centipede and IDM displayed on your screen. So, that's all for today's video. Like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.